guys, welcome to my first official YouTube video. So I have done videos in the past, they were just completely random and don't go looking for them, <laughs> please. Um, so this is going to be more of like a tutorial type thing where I'm just going to decorate some cookies and hopefully give you some insight or like if you've never thought of like a technique before you can be like oh yeah I should try that um, so I'm a beginner I'm in no way a professional so just bear with me as I figure out this whole thing and I'm just trying to get better every time I do cookies so I hope you enjoy watching me decorate um, I just love that this is a new creative outlet that I can have now that I have all this free time and I'm so happy that I can share it with you guys and I hope that you follow and subscribe and just watch my journey. Alright, thank you guys. Okay, so as I said before, I'm gonna be making like a jungle slash animal print themed cookies for baby showers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start rolling out our dough and cut out our shapes. So here I've done some leaf shapes, I've done heart shapes, I did some banners, and I didn't show this part, but I did do baby bottles. All right, so here are my four shapes. I have my leaf, and over here I've got my heart, and I've got a banner for some minor details, and then up at the top right I have my baby bottle. So we're gonna bend with, begin with the heart shapes. Um, here I've started to do a giraffe, and I'm using my poking tool to kind of smooth out the edges and then I go in and smooth out the points and the shapes of my giraffe spots. And as you can see, I did go a little bit overboard with my icing, so it did start to drip down below. Alrighty, and then we're gonna move on to our cheetah print which is the same tan base color that I used and I use my tool just to smooth everything out and then I go in and accent with my dots and my black and it does blend in very nice when you do wet on wet technique And these last two designs, um, they're pretty simple. Um, very beginner if you'd like. Um, what I started out with is my base and then I let them completely dry throughout. If you don't, it could, and it's just the shell, it could crack through and then you break the smooth part of your cookie. And so I, yes, these are edible markers. I didn't just use a Sharpie. Um, so you can just go in and have fun with these stripes and um, do whatever you want. And it is pretty much the same technique as the tiger that I did with my zebra. So I let my these cookies dry completely overnight before I did this next step. So I thought tigers and zebras might have similar stripes, but they do have a little bit different where some of them can connect to one another. And I just think that just looks way more zebra-like. Again, you can do them different sizes. You can do it smaller, just make it your own. So I do my banner and I just smooth it out, make it the shape that I want it to be. 
and um, you let those dry overnight before you write on them or like do any other accents. And I did forget to record myself decorating the banners and this baby bottle, but you'll see in the finale. So on my leaves, I like to do one side first and I do the holes first because I don't want my icing to bleed into the hole where it should be. And you just kind of fill it all in and then you wanna let that dry for maybe 20 minutes. And then you can do your other side. And that way it can look like two sides of a leaf and then you can get the little vein in the middle. And then here are my completed looks. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this and the next one. Thank you, bye.